Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Christy from In the Stars by Christy.com. So, I'm doing this reading at the time of the new moon in the sign of Gemini. So, the reading is talking about the entire month of May and for what things can actually manifest for you for the new moon in Gemini so it can carry over to the next month as well so for Aquarius let's see what's going on for you guys again just as a gentle reminder that this is a general reading so it may or may not really tune in necessarily for each and every one of you just keep that in mind so um for Aquarius I kind of feel that Aquarius people or if you have a very very strong Aquarius in your chart there is a nostalgic feeling into your energy we do have the six of cups as your card crossing over by the knight of pentacles so this could be news from the past or because the knight of pentacles is a is a messenger type of a card it can be someone in particular from the past it could be you you know trying to um trying to talk to someone from the past there are past issues that can come up here and it could be um, you know, maybe you are trying to be more open to the idea or having opportunities that you once lost, you know, from the past. However, I kind of feel that, you know, there could be some undecided factors in play here because we do have this nine of wands over here and usually the last card of the deck, um has a strong energy to through the whole topic of of the entire reading basically so the fact that there is a presence of the nine of wands is telling me that yes you are feeling nostalgic you are thinking about the past but you are also undecided on what you what you should be doing about that maybe you're just thinking about them it not necessarily that you are talking with someone from the past not necessarily that you wanted to go back in the past but there are things that is leaving you undecided you know should i go back should i reconcile with someone should i talk to someone you know these kind of thoughts and things might be coming up for you and it's not necessarily that you're actually acting upon them but they are definitely on your mind and this is especially true if you are you know uh, a man who is actually have a strong Aquarius in their chart M maybe you're thinking of a special woman in your life because we do have the Queen of Pentacles over here and the Empress at the top of the reading so it makes me feel that maybe you're thinking about someone really special to you you're thinking about someone who has always been there for you like not just as a lover but also a friend you know someone who has been very patient with you like you know someone that can really fulfill all of your desires you know uh, physical mental emotional there is a form of a satisfaction this person actually gives to you but it could be that you know maybe the two of you had a past that was unavoided you know it's not really showing us here but it just tells us that you know there is already someone in the past and you're thinking about this person you know it, it makes me feel as if there is a renewed energy that you're picking up that you are feeling with this person so again i will i will repeat this and it's all about the energy that you're feeling not necessarily that you are taking action about it and this is especially true because we do have the nine of swords at the future position of 
of the reading because yes you are reflecting you're thinking about it you're thinking about that special person in your life you're thinking about um, stuff with the matters of the heart but with the presence of the nine of swords in the future position it makes me feel that at the same time uh, there is a possibility that you are feeling lost with this like maybe you are afraid there is some form of anxiety worries and grief regarding this regarding taking action for the future so there is a huge possibility that for some of you this could be a form of regret maybe you have regret in the past or maybe it is a relationship worth fighting for it is the perfect woman in your life it's a perfect man in your life remember this is a reading that can go vice versa so you know it could be a man or a woman it could be a special man or a special woman in your life so maybe you have regrets you know it was the perfect relationship the perfect love you know even though that maybe it's not really entirely perfect but it's the perfect one for you that fits your life, you know, that can make you feel alive and feel complete and whole again. However, there are a lot of things that ha may have occurred between the two of you and you are afraid to take that step forward, you know. Um, yes, you are thinking about that person, but it doesn't mean that you are actually ready to take that step. We do have here the Jack of Diamonds and the Nine of Swords coming in together. So I kind of feel that it's as if you are wanting to talk to them, but you end up not doing so. It's like you take a step back and maybe you're thinking very negatively or you, you have a lot of thoughts in your mind like, is it gonna work out? Is it not gonna work out? Is, is it going to be the same old thing over and over again? Um, yes, right now, I feel like I want to reach out to them, but you know, there's a lot of what ifs. So on another aspect, this could be a situation wherein you are thinking about how regretful you are to a relationship or a possible union that you have lost in the past so it has that form of energy we do have here the five of pentacles and the seven of wands along with the ring over here so like i said um this could be a relationship that you have fully invested invested your time with you have made huge effort for this relationship but you know maybe things have been set aside you know you try not to dwell on it but the energies that are transpiring for you this month is like making you making you or forcing you to think about matters of the heart you know it could be due to the energies planetary uh, everything is in retrograde motion right now so everything goes inwards so even though you try not to think about the past you will just end up thinking about them one way or another so there is going to be some form of confusion here um, and things can really make you emotional you know you try to focus on other things but at the end of the day you know this could be a time wherein you are really going to speculate on things whether you should actually move forward with your life move on or whether you should go back into someone um of course at the end of the day the the last decision is on you but right now i kind of feel that this is the time we're in you're you're noticing how much you love someone how much you actually crave their presence in your life that kind of thing so you might 
do something about it in the future, you might not do something about it. But right now, the keyword that I want you guys to know and understand is that you're thinking about this person, this special person in your life. There are fears that are holding you back. Yes, that is for sure. And it's not telling us here whether to go back to that person is a is a good thing or if going back to them is a not a not so good action to take in your life. But it's telling us here that, you know, your heart is going to be the one who will lead you in taking action in the future. But right now, maybe you will come to a point of confusion and you are going to a point wherein maybe you're going to try to stalk them online, see what they're up to, you know, see what chances that you have, all the those kinds of things. For some of you, you might be just, you know, ignoring it and you're just going to be emotional of certain things and not do anything about it again we do have the nine of wands and this is like a waiting card also it's like you're waiting for the right time you're waiting for the right moment um take having a look out on things on where things are really going that kind of energy but yeah your connection with this person is very intense maybe quite karmic all at the same time so um i do feel that for some of you guys if you truly love the person even though that you know everything is being opposed on you like it's like you and this person against the world type of energy um you are going to do something about it you know maybe not within this month maybe s at the end of the month or maybe um on next month that kind of thing but right now you're thinking about this person and it will come to a point wherein whatever is overwhelming to you is that point wherein you cannot stop your feelings anymore you cannot stop your feelings from loving that person from craving that person then you are going to take action based on what you feel on another aspect this can also be a situation wherein you know you are giving into your own grief and all you do you basically don't do anything you know you you just regret a lot of things and let everything takes its course naturally but i really really feel that you know um you are going to spend a lot of emotional time within the month but because of the urge to to communicate to think to talk to sort things out you might be doing something you know either to apologize to someone to to make your presence known to someone or even to to pray and hope for the best um, hope for some miracle to happen in your life you are going to be doing a lot of these things and it's all being triggered by your own emotions because that person is still important to you there is an energy here wherein you are hesitating and there are a lot of fears you know in taking action all of those kinds of things but i do feel that eventually some form of aha moment is going to come for you maybe through dreams through um through your own urges you know impulsive urges not just very impulsive action but it is because things are making you very emotional right now so there is also a chance that suddenly taking action taking action aimlessly 
it's not gonna do you any good because it could be that you know you are giving in to your emotions so much to a point wherein the decisions that you take does not make sense anymore whether it's right or wrong whether it's logical or or illogical whatever your heart tells you you are going to be following it you know and this can be quite negative or can be seen um, in a not so good light especially if someone is already attached or someone's already married and they secretly still love someone else you know that can be seen in a very negative light i mean i'm really not here to judge anyone and i'm not gonna say not to do this and not to do that but the key word here that you need to know is that whether you're single or in a relationship what your heart is telling you who your heart is really beating for is going to be the one that controls everything you know no matter what is right for you in a in a very moral kind of way ethical kind of way you are going to be following it so it's like you fighting over adversity to change a situation you know maybe you're all, everything that i'm talking about is already in the past but you have the ability right now to change this to change all your regrets and fears to grab hold of your own happiness that is basically the entire uh, message of this reading many times though that this can be you know manifesting in a very um introspective kind of energy because i kind of feel that there's the all of this information is happening to you internally so it's not as if you're taking action right now to do something about it but deep within your heart you are going to find out what you should be doing what do you want to do basically so yes fear is stopping you right now but at the end of the day once you cannot get rid of these emotions that you are feeling you will eventually going to be taking action right now all of this awareness is not there to make you suffer all of this awareness is there to I guess to make you realize what you truly feel you know is about realizing what is truly um what truly gives you security what truly matters what truly is important to you what truly is of value and not just what i mean who is truly of value to you you will all find it out and as i would say that especially take a closer look into your dreams you know who are you dreaming about and if you have been confused in terms of your love life and relationships i kind of feel that this can actually make you a lot more confused yet again but at the same time if you take your you know just close your eyes and think for a moment think about your heart and think about your love who does pop up first in your in your mind those kinds of things i kind of feel that you know if you have a very strong connection with someone it is that person that will first pop up in you especially during the time of isolation that we are having the lockdowns and all of that it has made you realize you know when life is not so busy anymore like it usually is it can make you really focus on what is truly important to you and this is exactly what's happening to you at this time so you are thinking of opportunities right now you're thinking about making peace and trying to be with someone even as a companion will make you feel really 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 happy at this time it's just that you know i kind of feel that the emotions can can confuse it confuse you a bit not just confuse but can actually you know really make you anxious make you feel lost in the process 
especially we have this you know seven seven of of spades along with the moon card so this can be you know emotion being emotionally frustrated as a result because of some form of past relationship that you had you know it is you know having the seven of spades the nine of clover and the four of spades this this could be someone that is not in your it not in your field it could be from someone overseas even it could be an old friend that you have that things were not so okay between the two of you anymore and you are thinking about them very very much this can also be a time of a breakthrough because you're thinking about them very strongly you might just you know do some form of action to initiate some form of contact with them due to being emotionally frustrated this can be somehow unfair to the other person though you know trying to reach out and contact them just because this is the time you you come to realize their existence you come to realize how important they are to you but i kind of feel that you know sometimes everything happens for a reason and if if you don't um if the energies didn't allow for you to reflect and think about the past you are not going to have the awareness that ah this person is actually important to me now i know the importance of this person who has always been patient to me who has always been there for me you know from all my burdens my happiness my sadness and everything they are always there for me and now that i've lost them now that they are not here you know that awareness can actually bring you a long way based on the future action that you are going to be taking very soon so um another way that this aspect can occur is that you know you might just be uh, wor worried worried of a certain communication insight that can suddenly come up but either way you know regardless what you are going through right now or regardless of your relationship status i kind of feel that there is a halt there is a halt that's going to be happening and there are fears that you are going to be in experiencing and it can make you very emotional however i would suggest to not um, m make any sudden drastic actions at this time because i kind of feel that you might come to a point of being emotionally unstable i feel that you know being aware of what's going on in your heart and your relationship is one thing but you need to be quite fair with the other person as well you need to make a decision that you are going to be sure about if you try to reach out to them be mindful that you're not going to be repeating the same mistakes over and over again because this time around you might not get that second chance anymore based on how you act and based on the decision and actions that you do this can be your last chance again this can be something that you are going to be experiencing or it's your partner or the other person is actually experiencing for you you know that kind of thing so um yeah i hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation if you'd like a more personal and detailed outlook onto your situation at hand you can do so by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month bye